What's going on guys, my name is Joshua Daniel George and for those of you that are new to the channel, I own a social media marketing agency and I also have my own personal brand um, on Instagram and YouTube where I basically you know, document the journey of building up that agency to seven figures and I also show you guys you know, how to start your own social media marketing agency, break out at nine to five and basically live a laptop lifestyle, live a life of freedom and live life on your own terms. And I just got this question from Sam and he was basically struggling with creating engaging content um, mainly for his ads so not necessarily content for you know Facebook and social media etc but mainly for the ads um, so what he basically asked me you know what kind of tools could he use to increase the engagement and the click-through rate etc on his ads um, in the previous video I already showed you guys a few examples of pattern interrupts um, which basically means you get people to stop from mindlessly scrolling on the phones or on Instagram or Facebook and get them to actually look at your ad properly and by using the pan interrupt uh, features um, you can basically get people to stop in their tracks and you know increase the click through rate because people click on your ads to try and figure out you know what is actually going on so if you have not checked out that video make sure you do I highly recommend you watch it um, and in this video I'm basically just gonna um, rant about tools and you know just give you a few little tips and tricks on how to basically increase that engagement rate on your ads so first things first in terms of how to create the ads you know a lot of people think that they need photoshop lightroom and they need to have mad editing skills and stuff like that guys literally for i i, I can you know i always work with photoshop i do also always work with Lightroom, but 99% of the time, unless I'm creating an Instagram story video ad, I just use Canva, literally for everything. Why? Because it's so, so easy to use. Um, everything I can do in Photoshop, I can basically do in Canva as well. It's it's just great to work with. Um, so canva.com, free website. For those of you that have already got a lot of experience with Canva, just bear with me, I will get into like further tools uh, later on. Um, so basically, you can create a design. You've got all kinds of examples here. Um, animated social media is a new um, feature. I have actually not clicked on that just yet, so I'm curious to see what happens. Um, but basically, these are all like in the right format. So for example, if you want a YouTube thumbnail, it's 1280 by 720. Um, nowadays, it's actually 1980 by um, 10, 1920 by 1080. Um, but you know, as you can see here, they've all got the right dimensions and formats. Um, so I click on a design, you've got all kinds of templates here on, on the left that you can choose from and also you know, you've got elements and stuff like that that you can create um, yourself and then you can also upload your own images here. So if you click on elements, um, you've got like I said all the shapes, where are the templates, there we go, templates. Um, so what is actually the, oh here we go, so yeah, the animations as you can see, living a colorful life, this all changes up. Um, so yeah, Canva is definitely a great tool to use and you can create really nice looking advertisements with it. Um, so in terms of this image, for example, as you can see the text is quite big. Um, and one thing that a lot of people go wrong with when creating ads, let me just quickly go on to um, one that isn't um, like an animation. So how do I go back? Oh, here we go. Back to home. Internet is a little bit slow today, guys. Apologies for that. Um, so let's say we're creating a Facebook post or a Facebook ad for that matter. Do, 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 do. The internet is slow. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time. Yeah, let's just do the yard sale one just because the text is big. Um, okay, so let's just say, hypothetically speaking, that is my design. Click on download. You've also got a choice in what format you want it. Let's just do JPEG. It's nice and small. Preparing your design, that is fine. <clears throat> so basically what we can now do is, okay, it's saved. That's untitled design. What we can now do is go to text overlay tool, which is a Facebook tool. Um, and we can basically see um, how much of the text, what well, percentage of the image um, contains text. If it's more than 20%, so if more than 20% of the image um, or the text is covered in more than 20% of the image, then Facebook will limit the amount of reach that um, the text or the, the image gets. Why? Just because Facebook doesn't want you to spam. So Facebook just wants basically 
the the creative of the ads to be as much image as possible. So this is the text overlay tool. You click on upload, go to downloads, and what was it called? Untitled design. There it is. Okay, and then just oh, I already clicked on upload. So as you can see, image and text is low. Your ads reach might be slightly lower. You may reach fewer people because there's too much text in the image. Facebook prefers ad images with little or no text. Consider changing your image before placing your order. So as you can see here, so the text image okay is your ads will run normally. What we just had is text image was low, and obviously you know if your text if your ad is just completely text on the image. Um, it'll say image text is high and then Facebook might even just disapprove your ads. Okay, so that's just a little quick um, tool to use when creating the ads. And then in terms of actually how to find images, in terms of the ads, another great way to find images is through Google. And no, not the Google images, but actually find the specific ads for your you know, whatever it is you're doing ads for. So let's say, for example, you have a cinema as a client. Um, let's say, you know, it's a, a cinema in London. So you can type in Cinema London. I have no idea what the cinemas are called in London. Rich Mix, no. Odeon, I think that's I think that's in the UK anyway. So, you, okay, so let's just do Odeon London. Might be easier. Odeon London, so as you can see, Google comes up um, with all the different audience in London. And then basically what you can do is you can find images in Google of you know the different cinemas in London and you can use those um, you know, for your ads. So let's say we click on Odeon, less the square. As you can see here at the bottom, we've got images that people have taken and uploaded to Google um, of the Odeon in Leicester Square. And we can use these images for our ads. Now, a few little things that you need to uh, take into consideration with ads is ads with people always outperform ads without people. In you know, in terms of images like this, obviously, you know, if you've got graphics, it's a little different. But images with people perform better. With that said, images with people, you know, front facing the camera work better than people. You know, images of just random people with the backs towards the camera. Um, and then images with a smile, you know, the person, if this person is smiling towards the camera, those images are the best. That's why I love the influencer images um, when they're eating, you know, let's say they're eating whatever, cake, you know, they're like that in front of the uh, camera, you know, smiling and eating the cake at the same time because images like that work best, which brings me to my next tip. Let's say you are working on something um, that is relatively mainstream, you know, um, yeah, let's just go with Starbucks, for example. Go onto Instagram, find influencers that have nice looking images with um, you know, with that make or brand, you know, on the on the on the image. Why? Because you know, there's a reason why they are influencers and why they've got a big following, is because they take you know aesthetically pleasing images as well. Okay, so you can use those images um, you know, for your ads and you know if they didn't want you to use the ads, then they shouldn't have put it on Instagram in the first place. Yes, officially you should ask for permission, um, but in in my case, you know, I would rather ask for forgiveness rather than permission. You know, just because speed trumps everything, I'd rather move fast, get it done with, apologize later, than you know, wait ages for permission when you already could be making a profit with the ads for your clients. Okay, so that is a quick little tip. Um, so yeah, make sure you have front-facing people, um, you know, people looking happy on images, and then also use the pattern interrupt from the previous video. So uh, long story short, the border, the circle, and the arrow. Um, if you want to know more about that, make sure you check out that previous video. But you know, add those to not 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 all at once, but add you know, sprinkle the pattern interrupts over your creatives, and you know, just watch your click-through rate go up. Um, and then in terms of um, in this case, the cinema, why I've chosen cinema is because um, Sam has got a theatre as a client, so uh, theatre, cinema, so that was my chain of thought. Um, but you can also go with um, like long cues in front of the cinema, and then you can also add like the circle around it, that can also create that pattern interrupt, and it is relevant because long queue in front of the cinema means it's busy, which means, you know, social proof, etc. Okay, so those are basically like my tips and tricks in terms of the images 
Um, I don't really necessarily use tools. The text overlay tool is one. But other than that, guys, I mainly just use Canva. And then in terms of um, the headlines, I always make sure that I add a pleasure and a pain. So, for example, in terms of the, the, the cinema, we can have something like how to watch movies without... Um, I don't know, screaming kids in the background, you know, something like that. So the pleasure is to watch all the movies, pain without the screaming kids in the background. Again, put a bit more thought into it. That was just, you know, me off the top of my head. Um, and then if you want any type of inspiration for your headlines or just for your ads in general, just go to the Facebook ad library. And that is basically um, nowadays because of the GDPR and Mark constantly in the news, Mark Zuckerberg, um, Facebook now have the ad library where you can see what other people are, um, you know, what, what other um, ads are being run by other people. So we can type in Odeon. No idea if Odeon has actually got ads. Um, this is just me looking now. Let's see what comes up. Don't you just love the internet when it's... It's like it is a first world problem, I know. But slow internet just grinds my gears. It's terrible. Okay, so there's movement. Let's see. <clears throat> so basically, there's two ways to get to the Facebook ads library. The first way is obviously go to facebook.com slash ads slash library. Another way is by going onto Facebook itself and then going through the page so this is the page Odeon Cinemas and you can go onto the right hand side page transparency transparency <clears throat> and as you can see this page is currently running ads so you go to the ads library and basically that's the same place you'll end up if you've done it through here so let's see what they're doing there are no ads that match your search criteria that is correct because we are filtering in the Netherlands and we basically want to see all the countries they are running in. So we change the URL string from NL to ALL, which stands for all. So all the countries, let's see what comes up. Okay, Frozen 2 video, we run that on Facebook, Instagram, the audience network, which is basically like all the other networks that are connected to Facebook, not necessarily on Facebook itself, and on the Messenger. Jumanji, it looks like um, might be stories, not 100% sure. But as you can see, a lot of videos. Um, this is a good one. Why? Because you know, there's, it's got a person, you know, front facing camera. Um, oh, I've just realized that's Matt Damon. Um, but yeah, he's, you know, he's facing the camera. Um, obviously, a person stands out more than just this anyway. And then, you know, he's front facing the camera as well. It's a video, so yeah, that's quite a good ad. That's a good ad. Pattern interrupt, um, sort of, because you know he's doing something with his jacket. Um, if you added like a small little circle around his gun, um, or you know on his jacket, that would have been even better. But yeah, these are you know ads that you can use as inspiration. Rather the dark blue border here, obviously it is in line with their brand them. Um, but yeah, they look quite good. But that is basically what you can use um, to find inspiration for your ads as well as your headlines, okay? In terms of the headlines, they could use a lot of work. This is calling all Frozen fans. Book to see Frozen. We're given it. Okay, that's actually quite a good headline. Don't miss this epic conclusion to the Skywalker saga. Book your ticket now. A little week. Could, that could have um, you know, done with a bit of work. Emojis also work really well with your headlines, but yeah. That's basically it, guys. That is how you know you can create engaging ads, you know, creators for your ads. Uh, the tools are Canva, text overlay tool, Facebook ads library, and then just use Google to find the images if your client doesn't provide um, you with any type of content. Okay, so hope you got something out of this. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave with a thumbs up and comment down below what you'd like to see for my channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.